we have to buy and cook a Valentine's Day meal for each other. It's not looking great at the moment. Oh, Ooh, those are so cute. No, this could be a problem. Might have had a bit of a problem, guys. What's happening, free gang? We are coming to you live. But not live. From our home here in London. And happy Valentine's Day. You need to give me a kiss. Mwah. <laughs> There's proof. We hope you are all having a wonderful day, whatever you're doing, whether you celebrate Valentine's Day or not. But let us know in the comments where you are, what you're doing. We hope everything is going fantastic. As you guys know, we have decided to celebrate Valentine's Day this year. Yeah, the first time in 15 years, I think. And a lot of you suggested a great idea to help us celebrate Valentine's Day, where we have to buy and cook a very special Valentine's Day meal for each other. In this hat, we have lots of pieces of paper with places to buy food on them. For example, we have home bargains, Waitrose. There's also Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Aldi, Lidl, TK Maxx, Powerland, M&S, lots of different ones. We're gonna have a go each of picking them out of the hat and whichever one we each choose, that's where we have to get our shop from. And we will only be doing this with a 10 pound budget. So this could make it interesting depending on what we get. Do you wanna pick first? Okay. Stop rustling around and just pick. Okay. Okay, let me see what you've got. Oh, you've got M&S. How I do mean, you feel about that? I feel okay, that they do good, nice things there. But will I get everything in a 10 pound budget? That's true, yeah. Okay, my turn. Oh, I've got Poundland. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. 10 pounds can go far in Poundland, but they haven't got much in the way of variety and you never know what you're gonna get there. You never know with Poundland. It changes all the time, yeah. Okay, here's 10 pounds for you. Thank you. 10 pounds for me. Right, before we go though, guys, we wanna give you a really important update because so many of you have been asking about our van ever since it broke down last year. As many of you may remember, the computer in the van got flooded and they are trying to find a new one now to put back in there and get the van back to normal. So we're really excited to get it back soon. We're even more excited because we've got something so cool to go with it. So this guys is what we are super excited about that will take van life to a whole new level for us. It is our new power station, the Anker Solix C1000. And it is the most powerful and awesome power station that we have ever had. As it offers 1800 watts of power, meaning we can power so much more than we ever could before. Especially as it has nine different ports, meaning we can charge multiple devices all at once and it can power so many things on the road for us. For example, we could use a kettle, a toaster, even our pressure cooker. Jojo, in fact, could even power his amp from using this. So we can have a concert on the road, basically. One thing me and Katie are really excited to have is finally to get a fridge in our van, which you guys have been suggesting for a long time, but now we finally can. The C1000 as well can even keep us warm in the winter, as it has a special feature called Surge Pad, which allows surges up to 2,400 watts. So this means we can even power our portable heater, which we've never been able to do on the road before and Katie's hair dryer, which is also 2000 watts. It means she can dry her hair on the road as well. What's amazing too is the C1000 is actually the fastest charging one kilowatt hour power station out there. As with its hyper flash technology, you can charge to 100% in 58 minutes. That's actually 27.5% faster than any other power station of the same capacity. And when you're traveling in the van, quick recharging is essential. With the Anchor app too, you get a lot more visibility and functionality. And the app also has the ultra fast recharging feature, which means you can recharge the power station a lot quicker. 
You can also double the power with an expansion battery, which will mean you get 2,112 watt hours. So that means you'll be able to power for twice as long. This has made us so excited to get our van back, guys. It means we can have longer journeys in the winter, off grid for longer, especially as it charges super fast with 600 watts of solar, only doing it in 1.8 hours. And that's 40% faster than all other power stations at the same capacity. But even without the van, it's given us so many other options for outdoor adventures, camping, garden parties, picnics, we can power cooking appliances, everyone can charge their devices if you need, so it gives us lots of good options. And with it being Valentine's guys, we and Anchor Solix have a great offer to be able to share with you as part of their Valentine's Day sale, where you can get £200 off the C1000, taking it down to only £799. So head to the link in our description guys where you can check out this great offer and change your life lot, we are changing ours. Right guys, me and Katie have split up. She's gone to m and with Jojo and I'm here at Poundland. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. I have no idea what's on offer, what meal I'm gonna make. So I think I'm gonna have to go in there and have a look around first. This is what I mean with the randomness of Poundland. Just seen this coming in the door. Roast potato seasoning, rosemary and garlic. That could be something. Done by gravy people, this though. And then there's different things like noodles. I don't think she'll be happy with a pot noodle for Valentine's. <laughs> we'll think about it just in case it gets desperate. Looking at the fresh stuff, it's not looking great. There's easy peelers, which Jojo would be happy about, but this is not about Jojo. I was hoping to find some mushrooms, but there doesn't seem to be any. So in the frozen area, we've got a few more options. These are new chicken free nuggets we all will remember the moons and stars guys vegetables different potato -y things waffles these look quite cute they're like smiley potato faces and they've also got jacket potatoes up there still not much of an idea but have to keep looking just found this guys veggie power spice courgette bulgur wheat don't know what i'm gonna do with it i feel like it's something very different and it might make a good dinner in some way so I'm gonna get that. I'm not sure I'm gonna do with it. 125, so still got plenty of the budget left. So many noodles, but not much else. And of course they got these things, which Jojo would enjoy seeing, but he's with Katie, so it can be her problem in m &S. So I've had a good scan around, guys, but it's not looking great at the moment. What options there are, not many ideas coming out of me, but I'm gonna to have to make some decisions. I've just come to this magic freezer that we sometimes call because it's always had some good surprises in there and they've got a few of these different things Heinz beans bowls <gasps> and these are burgers oh Katie loves burgers as well with beans tomato mushroom I was looking for mushrooms because I thought maybe burgers could be an option but one of those will do perfectly I don't know how much they are though I'm gonna guess that there may be a pound I could be taking a risk still we're getting them feeling a bit more confident now i've got those so i've been doing burgers i've got to get something fresh to go with so they've got apples pears oranges lemons beetroot and tomato tomatoes are going to be good because i think they can go in the burger but also they can go with that buckwheat stir fry thing and they were just a pound i need to get buns do they have buns oh dear this could be a problem so next best thing is just to get a loaf of bread wholemeal or do i just get white i mean we all like wholemeal better so i'll go with that 125. so that would mean i potentially have to cut out like bun shaped bits of bread to make tops and bottoms i don't know if it's going to work do you know what guys i'm going to think i'm going to go for it i've been looking at all the different potato things i think as far as the valentine's meal is concerned having a big smiley face on the plate I think that's just gonna be really sweet and I think she'll really like it. Don't have to put the whole bag on there, but we'll do a few. One pound for those. And some veg as well. They've got mixed veg with 139 or just peas. I think just peas would look better. So we'll go for just those, 125. Just looking in the magic fridge again, guys. And I really like the looks of some of these beans bowls. This one, herby tomato. What it says about it being in a nice Mediterranean stew with roasted vegetables, I feel like there's elements of this which could really help with this meal. So I'm gonna get that as well. Just found that it's only a pound. 
got a little bit of budget left. It's whether or not I can use that to add some really good trimming, finishing touches on it, because everything that's coming together in my head, I think could be something good, but I'm not 100% sure. Or I could use the remaining budget to maybe get a dessert. I think it'll be worth it though. So dessert options are three pounds for Ben and Jerry's, which I don't think I've got enough. Otherwise, two pound for vegan magnums. I know Katie likes both. I just don't know if that'll go with the dinner, just having that on top. It's not really a fancy dessert, so I might have to leave it. Do you know what? I've been considering it for a while, but I'm gonna get these. Just because a moon star, just like a smiley face, I think is gonna look good in this kind of dinner. So it gives me options at least. So I'm all done guys, and I'm actually feeling kind of optimistic now I've got these bits here. I'm excited now to get home and start trying to make a really good meal out of this. Okay, Jojo and I have come here to M&S. Right, let's go in and see if I can get some inspiration. Ooh, very nice. Thank you, Jojo. But don't start dancing already. <laughs> I think it's happened. I think it's already started happening. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what your dad's favorite foods are. He absolutely loves sandwiches, but that's not gonna work. Not for a dinner anyway. But he also loves a roast dinner. That's one of his favorite things. So I know roast dinners are normally quite expensive, but do you think you, we can pull it off? I think we can pull it off. But we'll try and figure that out, but I'm not sure. But I'm gonna walk around and try and get some inspiration first. Well, I mean, to be honest, we did get a roast dinner from Poundland one time. We did. So That's true, we did do that. Yeah, but I've only got 10 pounds in here to spend. So, okay, let's see. They've got some plant kitchen things. Oh, mints and some kind of meatballs. Okay, right. Okay, that's something to think about. Oh, they've got loose vegetables. That's good because I'm only making one meal, so that will make it cheaper. You're getting some carrots? It's about 60p per kilogram, and I've got two. So that'll probably be about. Twenty P. Potatoes. I remember when we did our weekly food shop for thirty pounds here. The potatoes were quite a good price as well. Yeah, these are eighty-five P per kilogram. Two. Yeah, two should do it. P for potatoes. Nice, you're doing well. I know. You're doing well. Got potatoes and carrots, and you, you've not even spent a pound yet. That's a good point. Thank you, Jojo. While she's over there, I'm going to do this. <gasps> it's the beans! The beans! What are you up to? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm just looking at the kind of nuggets and things like that. They've got like fish breaded nuggets and they've got some over here, some mini Kievs. Oh my goodness, those look well nice. It just does not say how much they are. That's the only thing. Oh, do you think we are willing to take that risk? I don't know. Maybe I could take them to the self checkout and ask the lady how much they are. Okay, yeah, we could do that. Well, I'm going to keep looking anyway. Okay. Okay, I'm just looking to see if they've got flour here because I think it'd be a really cool idea to make some Yorkshire puddings. Oh, good yeah. thinking, good Maybe thinking. I could do some nice shaped ones. Oh, okay. Or something, I don't know. Oh, I thought this was flour, but it's actually- That's rice. That's rice. That, that's not flour, okay. You can't make Yorkshire puddings out of rice. Oh, wait. Well, you can. You, you can make rice can. flour? You can, yeah. Okay, nice. Oh, jackpot, Jojo. <gasps> They've got self-raising flour for 45p. Oh my goodness. You can't leave it there for that. You actually can't. I mean, I could get a bigger one for 85p, but I think I- I mean, yeah, you could do it that smaller one. I only need this much. Yeah. Milk, what are you thinking? Being a more Yorkshire pudding-ish kind yeah, of stuff? Yeah, the Yorkshire puddings, but I'm just trying to figure out what's the cheapest one they do. Yeah, £1.60. £1.60. It's a lot of the budget. I mean, it's not too much. I mean, no. you, you've actually used your budget quite well by getting some loose vegetables, so yeah. that's quite good. So, okay, one sixty. Yeah, you've got room for that. Well done. Okay, 
I just found some cauliflower popcorn, but it's reduced. It's two eighty five. Oh, that's good. It's a nice, it'd be nice little other vegetable to have, like done in a fun way. But it's a lot of the budget. Yeah, that's okay. funny. That'd probably actually be the most expensive item you get. Yeah, probably. You're thinking about getting that pie? Yeah, it's two pounds ninety. Oh, okay, then that's not too bad. And it's it's a mushroom pie, but I think okay. it will be nice as like a a centerpiece to the roast. That's a good idea. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for this. Okay, thanks. I'm going to get some peas. They're only £1.45. Nice. Some frozen peas. Okay. And I could do something special with them, I think. I, actually, I've just realised that they're £1.70 because they're Petit's Poise ones. Okay. Petit's Poise. I don't know how you pronounce that actually. But yeah, no, that's fine. That's 170, that's okay. I'm okay, just good. gonna have to add this up now. Well, now I realise I've actually got some extra budget. I'm thinking about a dessert, but everything is really out of the price range. Look at all these lovely Valentine's things. Oh wow. That is so cool. Thinking of getting any of that? Yeah, I have well, I mean, yeah. To be honest, a lot of it is quite expensive, so. Exactly. Oh, oh what have you found? Oh, those are so cute. Okay, we've just come over to the fruit because I'm thinking I might get a pack of these ripe bananas, which are only 25p. For those of you who don't know about this, most M&S do this, all their ripe bananas, and we've had them loads of times and they're always really good. So I might get a pack and then I've got some of the flour, but I'm not gonna use all of that flour so I could make some banana cookies or something. But I'm gonna get them anyway. I've got about two pounds something left. So I think I've got a dessert. I can make something out of flour and bananas. I've just come to a bread section and they have so many reduced items. Do you remember when we came here and we only did bought reduced items? Yeah, I do you remember that, yes. But so many. Oh look. What I've are you going for? What's this? Mini pack of tender <gasps> uh, stream broccoli. That is that is so cool. Yeah, they've got actually mini packs of sprouts as That well. is really cool as well, yeah. Yeah, but I know he loves broccoli. Get it, get it, get it. Okay. £1.20, that's really good. <gasps> Look, we found some reduced strawberries for one eighty. And I think I've just got budget so I can do these with the cookies that I'm gonna make, the banana cookies. £1.80, I would not, if these weren't reduced, I wouldn't have budget for them. Okay. That's brilliant. I've just spent ages trying to figure out how much I spent. I've gone over by 30p, okay? Okay. I'm going to put these back and I found some juice tomatoes for only 57p. Oh, okay. So I think I'm going to get these instead. Oh, oh, oh. And look, half a cucumber. Oh, okay. Bob loves cucumber as well. So I'm going to do something with these instead, I think. Okay. Yeah. And that will take me definitely under budget. So we're back guys. We've both got our hauls. We've both been having a bit of a nose at each other's hauls as well, haven't we? Because I can't believe how much stuff you got. Check this out. I got quite lucky, I think. You know how Poundland, you can go in there and sometimes there's not stuff. Mm-hmm. There was hardly any fresh stuff. So, but I've got some tomatoes and some peas. So I've got some veg in there, but they've got some burgers, these beans bowls. Do I know, I've never seen those in there before. Do you remember the magic fridge? The magic freezer. The magic freezer, sorry, yeah, yes. I remember the magic freezer. Yeah, and I've got this as well. I swear we got this at Heron's. Yeah, we And we did. had it that day. Yeah, I've got some nice different bits and I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do. Well, I, I have an idea of what the central thing will be and everything else might just be around that, but I'm hoping it comes together. And you can see the very clear difference between Poundland food and M&S food. I see you haven't got any kind of dessert. Have you? Yeah. No, I opted out of that. What are you doing for dessert? Well, I'm gonna try something. I don't know for certain what I'm gonna do yet. But I've got a really good idea what I'm doing for the dinner. I'm really excited about the dinner. I can see you've taken experience from our previous challenges and got some reduced items. I know, I Cheeky. had to. I had to. I spent £9.58. 
Really? Yeah. You came really close. All of this was £8.50. Wow. There's your price difference That's between amazing. stores. amazing. I can't believe you even got a plant kitchen thing. I know. Right, should we get cooking then? Yeah. Obviously, we're going to have to share the same space because we only have one kitchen and it's very small. But no copying me, you. No copying me. Mm -hmm. But I think just to keep it an absolute surprise at the end, we'll just plate up separately. Good idea. Right, guys, we just had a bit of a discussion. I said I'm going to need the kitchen first, so I've asked Katie to jump out. What I'm thinking, I'm going to use these burgers to make a nice burger, tomato in there. I might do something with the peas in there, but... Oh, we do have nice hot shaped bowls. And also, we've got these mini bowls too. So that'll be nice. Maybe I could put peas in there. I'm not too sure about some of the other bits. They might just be decorative. However, this courgette and bulk of wheat mix we do have these are cookie cutters but they're good to make it look fine dining so we can put that in there however there are some different shapes christmas trees we've got heart shaped ones that's so cool definitely got to use those okay so i think bob's done with his prep for the moment he's gone off to do some other stuff so i'm just going to start prepping my vegetables peeling them and chopping them i think i'm going to do some little mini roast potatoes with these and some thinly sliced carrots Okay, I was just about to start making the batter and I was gonna use these for my Yorkshire puddings, which is what we normally use. But then I realized, actually, we have some other things in here. We have some other tins. I don't know if this one's gonna work because it is a cake tin and it's got a bottom, but I found this little one that I could maybe do like a giant Yorkshire pudding that's heart shaped in this one. We're gonna get points for presentation as well. I forgot to tell you that. We're gonna get points from each other for presentation and how it tastes. So I think this will look really nice. So I've had this stew in there for a bit. Now the rest is gonna be going in. After that, I've just gotta fry up the buckwheat and steam the peas. And yeah, like I said, then it comes down to presentation. Okay guys, now it's time to make the Yorkshire puddings. I got my flour, I got the milk, and I have sneakily taken Bob's recipe off the side of the fridge. Luckily, he keeps it there. Bob's usually the one that does the Yorkshire puddings, but I've got the recipe here, so wish me luck. Might have had a bit of a problem, guys, just taking my stuff out of the oven. Some of it's a bit too well done. The smiley faces are not smiling too much. I wasn't planning on all of these going on the plate, but some of these more well done ones, I'll have to sit it out and I'll pick from these better looking ones, let's say. So I'm gonna get this on now and steam my peas, and then I'm gonna be close to plating up, hoping that this is gonna look good. got to that point now guys that we are crossing paths and getting in each other's way in the kitchen you've got a heart shaped bowl yeah i'm only mashing the banana in it okay because i was thinking of doing heart shaped bowls so no, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything i'm not saying anything. no you can because i think i'm going to use the plate anyway so we're going to lose points <laughs> <laughs> from using a plate but i know i've got something else in the oven i've got a surprise what are you doing with the bananas i can't believe how many is that just for me to eat now i can't, can't believe how many heart shaped things we have the little bowls, yeah, yeah and, and everything. Yeah, I'm making, I'm I'm doing, yeah, I'm not telling you what I'm doing. Why am I, you're, you're gonna treat me and tell you what I'm doing. I can't believe that nearly worked. The moment of truth, we are plating up. But I'm gonna get out of the room so you can plate up yours first. Yeah, I'm gonna plate first and you're gonna plate after.
Oh! Can you sit over there? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, mine's so cute! You can tell that we know how much each other eats. Look at the amount of you've got compared to mine. I've I got know. a feast. We need bigger plates. Oh, this looks well nice. It looks romantic. There's a lot of heart stuff going on here. So this is a giant Yorkshire pudding on a bed of tomatoes and cucumber. You've got a mushroom pie there Ooh. with broccoli on top. Oh, you've got carrots, roast potatoes. So it's, it's, a, it's a sort of roast. I like a roast, it is my favorite meal. So you've got top marks for that. I put gravy, a little bit of gravy on there, but also you have another heart-shaped bowl of gravy. And I somehow managed to figure out with the smallest budget, some banana cookies. Banana cookies. And strawberries. And with the remainder of strawberries, I made a strawberry sauce. Oh, thank you. This is really, really well thought. So we're doing two separate scores. One on presentation and then afterwards when we eat. Right. So, so what would you give me on presentation? It's a bit mixed here. The presentation, I like there's a good amount. And this all looks beautiful, the desserts. Obviously having more takes away from presentation sometimes. Yeah. So I'm going to give an eight for presentation and how it looks. Okay. That's good. That's good. I'm happy yeah. with that. So let me talk you through yours. These two are heart burgers and I've used the toast as buns. So you've got the burger in there, tomato, and I use, because you're allowed condiments, I used a little bit of garlic mayonnaise in there. Yeah, so there's two of those. On the side, I've just got a bowl of peas with one of the moon chicken alternatives, it's a moon one. There's a hot shaped bed of buckwheat uh, vegetables with a nice potato smiley face on top. And over here, we have a heart shaped Mediterranean stew with the star on top. I one. can't actually look at this and not feel happy. You couldn't look at this meal and not feel happy. Everything's got a shape. I love it. I'm, I'm gonna have to give you 10 out of 10. No way, really? Yeah, you've really gone to a nice effort and you oh, look so you. nice. So now are we on to the taste? Yes. So I think I'm gonna try a bit of the Yorkshire potato gravy and carrots first. Let's see what this Yorkshire's like. It's quite thick still. Good. I'm gonna try and get a bit of the pie. Oh, that looks very nice. Mmm. That nice. Mmm. I don't think I'm going to try the cucumber and tomato because we 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 know about that. That's all really really nice. And do you want to try the one cooking? Dip it in the sauce. I think it's only right that I do this testing both at the same time. <laughs> they're nice. It's just when you said cookies, I was expecting a different sensation, and they're lighter and fluffier, like something savoury almost. Yeah, they're but they're, like, they're very nice. They're, they're like banana. Nice. They're a bit like banana bread. Very very nice though. I think I'm going to give you a nine. It's very nice. Now onto mine. I don't have any dessert though. I'm going to go for the little burgers. These are so cute. I have no idea what this burger patty is like. Mm. I know it's like a bean burger. It's delicious. Go for a second bite. This is a serious taste test. Oh, they're lovely. I'll try this one. This like Mediterranean bean and vegetable stew. Oh, yummy. And this one. So this is buckwheat and vegetables. And a little smiley face. Mmm. Good meal. It's got loads of flavour. Yeah. Loads of flavour. Yeah. I love the burgers, everything. I feel like I've got to give you a nine as well. A nine? Mmm. Cool. Is it that good, eh? Yeah. It's a draw. Well, not if we're counting both scores. It's a draw on taste. Oh, yeah. But presentation, you... you gave me 10, didn't you? Oh, so you're the winner. Am I? I did not see that happening. Presentation, yours was amazing. And it, it all tasted good and like you did it all at Poundland. This was such a lovely thing to do for Valentine's, wasn't it? I know. I know. We're just going to have a nice Valentine's romantic meal now together. And if you guys loved this video, then you will love this one right up here in the corner. So go and check that out. But before you do, make sure you guys always stay free. And just keep rising.